Those interested in Greek life should visit the Fraternity and Sorority Life page on the Texas State website. For Bobcat Update, I'm Destiny Fuller. The City of San Marcos is again seeking proposals from companies that offer microtransit shuttle services. The City is seeking bids on a contract to connect workers and shoppers to downtown without fighting over parking spaces. Students interested in the HSI program should visit its website at hsi.txstate.edu. For Bobcat Update, I'm Destiny Fuller. A variety of events showcase what Greek life has to offer. The importance is to highlight the community, to give them a chance um, to showcase them giving back to the community. Um, it also gives us an opportunity to bring the councils together. Participants such as Autumn Jones regard Philanthropy Week as a chance for the Greek organizations to give back. I think it's great, you know, service was the main reason why I even joined uh, my organization. So the fact that we have a week that's just focused on it is essentially, you know, the entire reason why I want to be there. So it makes me really excited that we have that. After many months of having only one site, the university decided it needed another. The new location is at the LBJ Student Center next to the bus stop. It's administered through MD Diagnostic. Junior Madison Sanchez says she believes an additional testing site offers more convenience to those on campus. I feel like there should be more testing spots on campus just because uh, when you look online, the max like amount of days you have to wait are like three to four days just because it's already full. Um, so it would be more convenient if there was more locations. Texas State Health officials say the second testing location will be beneficial to students. Probably the most important reason to do it was to increase our capacity for testing. With Curative on our campus, we could do 2,000 to 3,000 tests in a week. By adding a second provider, we can increase our capacity to 4,000 to maybe even 5,000 tests in a week. Those on campus who want to get COVID tested should visit the Student Health Center's testing page for more information. I'm Destiny Fuller for a Bobcat Update. Texas State was officially recognized as a Hispanic-serving institution in September of 2011, and to mark the 10th anniversary, the university celebrated with a week of activities to call attention to the designation. I think the, the fact that it's a 10-year anniversary really says something about the institution and truly uh, embracing you know, this, uh, this identity because it's becoming uh, embedded in the culture and how we operate as a university and institution. The HSI program makes it a point to highlight various resources and opportunities for Hispanic students. Senior Jaime Salcedo says the program has benefited him. The HSI celebration was exciting. I was able to present there and things like that. And just being able to mingle the importance of networking um, within students, between students of colors and faculty and staff is also incredibly um, important. Intimacy Interrupted. That's the name of an exhibit at Brazos Hall on campus featuring photographs taken by several Texas State students. The theme tying the portraits together is the impact COVID-19 has had on relationships. Intimacy Interrupted shows how loved ones were affected both negatively and positively during the pandemic. Brazos Hall is home of the Center for the Study of Southwest, which has exhibits year round. The Texas State Tea Association has announced its Athletics Alumni Hall of Honor class. Five new members will be added, including the first ever softball and soccer inductees. Softball star Kristen Zaleski will be the first softball player inducted into the Hall of Honor.